watch how the cornerback completely follows Julio Jones across the field. And he just leaves this part of the field wide open. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Here we go! Psych! Psych! Break yourself, fool! What? Where you going? Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Team, as always. Got a crazy video for you guys today. Then we're going over one of the glitchiest cover three beaters in Madden 22. It also has a one play touchdown effect against some other defenses, but it's really glitchy against cover three. This particular play is something that takes no adjustments, and it's one of the glitchiest one play touchdowns against cover three in the game. Woo! I'm in the Tennessee Titans playbook, and I'm also in the strong close. So pretty much any playbook that has a strong close will probably have this play. The play itself is going to be the PA post dig now this play is something i first put out on my channel maybe like five or six years ago when i first started this video it wasn't a one play touchdown it was just a really glitchy play to the running back the running back pretty much always got open so i don't know if ea patched this play to the point where it became a glitch play to much more dangerous receiver which is going to be the post but for whatever reason this play has a very very unique uh success rate when it comes to matching cover three now this is going to work whether you're running against cover three sky or cover three match it really doesn't matter I'm going to do it against both. It's also one play touchdown against cover four, oddly enough. But ultimately, I'm going to start off with just regular cover three sky, and then we'll work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to my coin sponsors at AOH.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up and support the channel at the same time, all I have to do is check them out and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off whatever products you buy because they do more than much. They do, they do FIFA. They do Rocket League. They do uh, you know NBA 2K. Any sports game you play, they're going to have products for it. So check them out and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off whatever you buy. Now, like I was saying, in the past... This particular play here used to be a very glitchy play to the running back. He basically got open against just about anything, man or zone. I feel like they patched that. And when they patched that, what they did was they made this post route much more dangerous. Now, you're going to see on this play here, the elongated handoff animation typically will get you in danger. You can see right there, the play didn't necessarily work the way that I wanted to. And I'm going to show you guys why. Now, I recently found this play in a lab session with one of my Patreon members uh, who's on my coaching tier. He ran this play against me. He scored a one-play touchdown. And afterwards, I was like, where was my cover three cornerback? So I tried to lab it and figure out what he did. He didn't even know what he was doing. He, he actually found this by mistake. But you're going to see how this receiver here, this fake handoff to Julio Jones, is going to essentially create this play. Here's the catch, though. It won't create this play unless you run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. I'll run it a couple times to show you guys the difference. But this is going to be where the play has its effect. So ultimately, I can cancel this play action. I'm, I'm not going to have to do this with the running with the receiver. I'm just going to basically, you know, use it to my effect. There, I probably shouldn't. I threw it on the run, which is why I didn't get a, an accurate pass. But if you watch the cornerback over Julio Jones, watch how as the play starts, he basically mirrors it. The cornerback here basically follows him like he's running a wheel route or something. I'm not really sure, but you can see he follows across. And by the time uh, he gets back into his back pedal, he's typically at a huge disadvantage, especially compared to the other cornerback who's about 10 yards behind him. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Only this time, we'll get that ball off a little bit sooner and a little bit better. And you can see he's right over the top of that cornerback. Like I said, when I was running this, the cornerback was nowhere to be found. This is actually a better reaction than I was getting. I'll run from the other hash mark to show you guys it does not work that way. But you can see the cornerback just drops straight back. If you're watching that cornerback, he drops straight back. This elongated handoff is not really helping you either. You can cancel that play action. You can cancel this play action at any point in time by hitting the right trigger. You see the receiver essentially becomes an additional blocker. And then you can see we have really one of the easiest cover three one play touchdowns in the game. So if you're not very good at making adjustments, this is going to be one of the best plays to run. You just have to run from a hash mark to the short side of the field. Hit the right trigger at some point just to basically keep that, uh, you know, keep that quarterback from getting sacked by that elongated animation. And you can 
see how this receiver gets over the top of the cover of the corner every single time. I think part of the reason this play works like that is because the running back is closer to the corner than the receiver once the actual route happens. Now you also have to play, you have to, you have to basically pass lead quite a bit, and I wish I had a little bit of a faster receiver, I'd be scoring a lot easier, but you really got to pass lead away from that safety if I didn't mention that. So I know a lot of people are going to ask, what about cover three match? So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick that. Cover three match follows a little bit more like a man coverage at times, so maybe this will cover it. I really don't think so, but maybe it will. So let's go and let's pick that. So in reality, for whatever reason, cover three match gets glitched out even worse. I think this is the defense that I was running when I said that I found this play uh, in a coaching session because you could see the cornerback completely follows the fake end around around the field, leaving the middle of the field wide open. You definitely don't want to run cover three match against this because watch how the cornerback completely follows Julio Jones across the field. This is what I meant by when I said cover three match kind of covers a little bit more with matching principles, almost like a man coverage. He legitimately glitches out and races across the field with the fake end around, uh, which is why this is going to be an even easier play. So I'm going to do that again. Like I said, cancel that play action at any point in time. The cornerback is way out of place. And you can see he tries to get back, but it's an easy one play touchdown. If they're running a match, it actually benefits to let this entire animation play out because the second you cancel it, he actually tries to get back. But it really doesn't matter. You can see, like I said, this is a super easy one play touchdown against any cover three. It's even easier against cover three match. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more glitch plays as I find them in the future, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And as I find them, I'll bring them to you. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below